Yo, what's up everybody? It's Stephan here from Monta Fame and we are back with another video. Today's video, we're gonna be discussing a question that I get DM'd on all the time on Instagram at Monta Fame. Should I get the Hellcat or should I upgrade to the Red Eye? Anyway, let's jump into it. Let's go. You gotta warn me if you're about to do that stuff. <laughs> All right, guys. Man, oh man, this is, uh, you guys have been waiting for months to see this site right here. All right, guys, so this is the site that you guys been waiting to see. Let me not get hit by a car though, because it's probably coming really, really fast. All right, so this is the site y'all been waiting to see, man, for a long time. We got both kitties together, Red Eye and the other Hellcat. All right, ladies and gents, you see that we're in a crib, so you know this is about to be another tech based video question today that we're answering is hellcat or hellcat red eye which one you should get now if you're asking yourself this question congratulations man you work hard and it's time for you to get a toy so you can consider the question of whether you're going to spend seventy five thousand dollars minimum or whether you're going to spend eighty two thousand dollars minimum god bless that's all I have to say, man. I, a lot of times we forget how fortunate we are that we could even ask questions like this. And I'm not saying that this is the end all be all, but you know, stop and take a moment, pat yourself on the back. Now let's jump into this video. Hellcats, 717 horsepower, Charger or Challenger. Red Eye, 797 horsepower, Challenger or Charger. Both cars available in narrow or wide body. So, the difference in price can be pretty significant. Upwards of twelve to sometimes $15,000 depending on options. So, is it really worth it? Is a red eye that much faster? Is a red eye that much better? And the answer to that question is, it depends. What it depends on is what type of person are you and what are you going to do with the car? If you are just going to buy the car to go out on the weekends and every now and again do a little pull just to get your, your laughs off and you get on the on ramp, you hit it or you take road trips with wifey and you guys ride out and you know every now and again somebody roll up and you want to you know, pull off on them, a Hellcat is plenty. A Hellcat is absolutely plenty. You do not need a red eye for that. If you want a red eye to be able to say, look what I got and I made it, good, get it. But if it's just for your usability, your weekend or even your daily, some people daily Hellcats, God bless, enjoy it. A Hellcat is more than enough. However, if your ultimate goal is to build the fastest car you can, then you are going to want to start with a red eye. And here's why. The Hellcat, if you get the mod bug and you get bit by the mod bug, the first things that you're going to probably want to do is increase power. So you're already starting at a deficit of 100 horsepower, but let's understand why. Same motor, um, some different slight internals with the engine and wrist pins of the pistons and all that kind of stuff. But overall, basically same motor. Biggest difference, blower. 2.4 liter supercharger versus 2.7 liter supercharger. What does that mean? What does that even mean? I mean that the supercharger is physically bigger? No, it's not physically bigger. Uh, the way that it works is a supercharger says how many liters of air it can flow based on a certain period of time. So the Hellcat supercharger can flow 2.4 liters of air. The Red Eye supercharger can flow 2.7 liters of air. What is the, 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 the advent, what are the advantages of that? So basically with that 2.4 liters of air, that's really good, that's a lot. By, by example, a 
Camaro ZL1 supercharged a 1.7 liter. It could only flow 1.7. So was the Corvette Z06, 1.7. That is very small. So in order to make more power out of these superchargers, you got to spin them a little bit faster. And spinning them a little bit faster, you run outside of their efficiency range the more you spin them. The faster you spin them, the more inefficient they become. They start to generate a lot of heat and potentially can eat themselves. Whether it's the rotors touching each other or whether the bearings fail, you're putting more stress on it. It's not going to last as long. So if you're starting with needing to flow more air, and you have to speed it up, then you're creating stress, right? So with the red eye, if you know you wanna increase power, start with more power. I always say this to people. If you want a fast car, start with a fast car. <laughs> it is so simple because if you look at it, as much as I love scat packs, Great cars if you want to keep them where they are. But if you want to make a scat pack fast, oh my God, the buckets of money got to fall. Whereas if you start with a Hellcat, if you want to make it faster, you can spend six grand and make 800 wheel horsepower. Yes, sir. That's right, man. You know what time it is to talk about this big perp giveaway. Right now, every $5 spent on modofame.com gets you to enter to win this wide body Dodge Charger R. T. That's right, man. So it is a Hemi 57 wide body, crazy purple, crazy stars in the roof, crazy white leather interior like Tesla. It's amazing. Check out more pictures on modofame.com. But in the meantime, back to the video. And it's amazing, right? So the thing is, with a red eye, you actually are going to spend less to go faster. The reason why I say that is because it's already flowing 2.7 liters of air. By example, stock Hellcats on a tire. Now, guys, do not go in the comments and say, no, I saw this one time, this car in the perfect conditions and the perfect everything with the weight reduction and everything. I saw a Hellcat run. That, no, I'm going to tell you what these cars run on average what we see hellcats on a quarter mile on the tire possible they run anywhere from usually in 10 9 like on a really good day but usually 11 0 11 1. it's kind of where they fall for automatic cars chargers i don't know if it, it should be around the same but meaning that you can buy this car put a tire on it leave the dealership go to the drag strip and on the best day conditions, maybe you run a 10.9. On not such great day, maybe you run an 11.2. Either way, very fast. And that's at about 124 mile an hour. Great. Red Eye, on the other hand, and this is from my own personal experience. Please don't tell me about some glory Red Eye that ran a 9 stock. Anyway, let's talk about real world numbers. Red Eyes. Take it, throw a tire on it, take it to the drag strip. That car is going to consistently run anywhere between a 10.4 and a 10.6. That is a huge difference. That is a huge difference between those two cars, right? And the reason why is because not only does it have the bigger blower, but it also has better cooling with the interchiller system, which comes from the Demon. The Demon lends to the red eye the interchiller system that allows you to run the AC to cool a blower. Huge difference. In addition to that, the red eye has better axles, better drive shaft. More, more red eyes than not have 309 gears versus 262s. Now, I've run with 262s a 10.5. And guys with 309s have run 10.4. Maybe 10.3 on a glory pass day, full weight, everything in it. But whatever, you get the point. 
Point is, the Red Eye does not just have 797 horsepower. It also has parts from the Demon, like the inner chiller, like the better drive shaft, like the better axles. Just across the board, there's a lot more in that car. In addition to that, the motor. Inside the engine is uh, better wrist pins. Um, it's... Uh, And a few other goodies. If you want to go deep into detail, you can by doing a quick search of the internal differences between a Red Eye Demon Motor slash Hellcat Motor. But there are additional upgrades that will allow you to make more power safely. So, for me personally, for this question, I'm the type of guy, I'm going to mod this car. I'm going to make it faster. So, I am going to start with a fastest possible car that I can own if I choose that car. Now, if I want to go stupid fast, I choose a Tesla Plaid. <laughs> but then, no, I'm locked in. I can't, I can't mod it. I can't go no faster than that. But you get the point. My point is, if you're choosing a Dodge Challenger or Dodge Charger, and your question is, should, is the Red Eye worth the extra money? The answer I give to you is ab. Absolutely, it's worth the money. On average, red eyes tend to be eight to twelve thousand dollars more. So, for eight thousand dollars, it's worth every penny of that AK because I am going to spend that AK at some point trying to get to where the red eye is. So, I know you're saying to yourself, but Steph, I could buy a Hellcat and then make it faster than a red eye. Yes. But what happens when the red eye adds a pulley? You're done. He got you. So, in my opinion, to answer this question once and for all, if you are in the position and it's not going to hurt you or affect you at all, if you're choosing between Hellcat and red eye, get the red eye. Last and final reason why I suggest get the red eye over the Hellcat, is in 2024, these, these engines will no longer be produced. So these cars are going to, probably a couple years after that, start to really go up in value. And you will see the difference between the values of regular Hellcats and red eyes. And as time goes on, more so and more so and more so, you're going to start to see a difference between the two so therefore especially today if i'm choosing i'm gonna choose the red eye guys i hope that answered your question it's your boy here from mod the fame stefan and remember i am giving away a wide body dodge charger rt with the five seven in it if you a fast guy you still need a nice daily if you a guy who just want a really nice daily, this is a really nice car. If you a guy who want a weekend toy that to take the car shows, this is your car. All you got to do is visit modtofame.com and anything that you buy on the website enters you to win. So it is a win, win. If you win the car, you still won because you bought merch, you received it. So you paid for a product that just so happened came with an entry to win a car. We are officially 25 days away from giving away this beautiful, beautiful piece of machinery. Anyway, make sure you visit MontaFame.com to enter. And it's your boy here from MontaFame. So if you guys got more questions, you can ask them in the comments below. Follow me on Instagram at MontaFame because I'm always posting up action there. Anyway, until the next one, we out. We out.